So here I have a problem that says, when a sample of natural copper is vaporized and injected into a mass spectrometer, the results shown in the graph are obtained. Use these data to compute the average mass of natural copper. Mass values for copper 63 and copper 65 are 62.93U and 64.93U respectively. Okay, so this problem is asking us to compute average mass of natural copper and it gives us mass values for two different isotopes. This form and this form are an isotope form where it shows the mass numbers. So when you are trying to find average mass using isotopes, we're going to use the formula of average mass is equal to the mass value. I'm going to call I'm just going to say MV for mass value of the first isotope multiplied by the percent abundance of that isotope and divide it by 100. And we do that for each one of our isotopes. So that would be plus the mass value of isotope 2 times the percent abundance for isotope 2. We divide that also by 100. And then we continue adding until we have all of the isotopes that we are given in the problem. So the next thing is percent abundance is the same thing as relative number of atoms. So percent abundance is the same idea as relative number of atoms. Because what this is saying is since our relative number of atoms of our two isotopes, if we add these two numbers up, 69.09 plus 30.91 is equal to 100, it's basically just showing that, that we would have 69.09% of our mass number 63 and 30.91% of our mass number 65. That's, that's inside a copper um, sample just in the world, just in nature in general. So that's what this relative number of number of atom, excuse me, that's what this relative number of atoms is giving us, is our percent abundance. Also, I don't want you to be confused by this unit U. The unit U is an abbreviation for AMU, which is the atomic mass unit. And the atomic mass unit, there's one one atomic mass unit is equal to one gram per mole. So these units are basically interchangeable. You can, if the U unit is confusing, just substitute gram per mole, and it's the same thing. At the end, you might want to change it back into U, um, just for the sake of the problem, since that's the unit that they gave it to you in. All right, so if we are computing average mass, let's bring down average mass. Is equal to so the mass value of the first isotope is 62.93 so we'll start with the 62.93 and we'll multiply it by its percent abundance so the 62.93 was the mass number 63 so we go to our our chart and grab the 69.09 for its percent abundance and divide that by a hundred so that's for our copper 63. For our second isotope is our copper 65. We'll take its mass value, which is 64.93, and multiply that by its percent abundance, which is 30.91, and divide it by 100. Since we only have two isotopes in this problem, we're only going to have two of these mass value times percent abundance divided by 100. If we had three isotopes, we would have three of these terms. So just keep that in mind. So from here, I'm gonna simplify. Um, so the average mass, I'll just bring down and grab my calculator to do 62.93 
times 69.09 divided by 100 plus 64.93 times 30.91 divided by 100 equals, and I get that to be 63.5482. And again, this average mass, because our mass values were given in U, this would be in a unit of U or gram per mole, whichever one you want to say that in. So I'll just go ahead and say U. And since all of our numbers are in four sig figs, let's round to four sig figs, which is 63.55 U or gram per mole. Alrighty. Well, I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and also share with anybody you think might find this information helpful. Also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more similar homework help videos. And leave a comment if you would like to see a video done of your homework problem. Thanks for watching.